talked about how to control your Android device from your computer or laptop. So in this video I'm going to show you how to give yourself more of a desktop experience from that Android device that we're controlling on our computer. So if you haven't seen the previous video of how to control the device you'll need to watch that one first. Basically we're using something called SCRCPY, Screen Copy, which is a, an open source GitHub project which works very well to control your Android device over ADB. So getting started here, uh, we'll just open up our device using SCRCPY and we'll need to download this desktop launcher called Centio. So Centio is probably the, the best option that we have at the moment. Remember a lot of the features that we have, um, like freeform windows, are still in development so they won't work very well. So before we open up Sentio Desktop, I'll also recommend downloading Samsung Internet if you don't already have it, because this will give us a good browsing experience with uh, tabs and other things which are useful. So I've already got that. Before we start, we need to enable a couple of things within developer options. So we open up Settings, go into System, Developer Options, scroll towards the bottom. We need to make sure that we have Enable Freeform Windows enabled and also force activities to be resizable. This will allow us to have uh, freeform windows, uh, which are similar to windows. So we can run multiple windows at the same time if you want to. This is still under development and doesn't work very well, so I wouldn't really recommend it, but we should definitely enable these first. Okay, so let's open up Sentio Browser, sorry, Sentio Launcher. So Sentio Desktop here, open it up. Then as you can see, it straight away goes into landscape mode and starts to look a lot nicer. So we'll just click Begin Transformation. If we're using a Superbook, there's some additional steps here which we're not, so we can skip. It needs a few permissions like Overlay, so we'll allow that. And then go back to the launcher. And then go to Sentio Desktop. So when you first open it, you're going to have to enable a few permissions. So if you go into, okay, we don't need these permissions that they're currently prompting for, so we can deny these. However, if you go into settings here, Sentio settings, there's a few useful things that we'll need here, like enable alt tab experience. So we will need to enable some usage access for this to work. So we'll do that. Then jump back into Sentio desktop. Okay, that's done. We'll also want to enable recent apps to show in your taskbar. That'll give us a nice little taskbar experience. Okay, enabled alt tab as well. So let's do that. So we'll need to allow this service. And we can jump back again to Sentio desktop. Okay. So it gives us a lot of hints and stuff, and they've even got a tutorial to learn how to use this, uh, as well as a DPI tutorial if the display doesn't look quite right. They've also got their own file launcher, uh, like a file manager there if you want to use it. So Sentio File Explorer. So I'm not really interested in that, um, so I'm not going to download that. i am probably just use this to browse the web. So. In order for the, the functionalities to all work properly, I'd recommend that we close Sentio first um, and then relaunch it. So we'll log out for now. So we went to settings, log out. I'll clear it from my recent apps. Then we'll open it up again. Okay, there it is. So we'll just drag that there. Sentio desktop, open it up. So now the permissions should all be enabled and things should work a bit better. Uh, so you can use freeform windows, um, a lot of apps don't support it very well and the experience won't be very good so I don't really recommend it. Um, better to use them in full screen. In terms of web browsing here, you'll notice that Chrome and the alternatives like Brave don't look as amazing. So here you can see this is a freeform window here, so you can move it around and you could try to use it but it's not very responsive at times, doesn't always look great, and you can see a lot of flickering here. So if you wanted to go full screen, you could just tap on this over here. 
so that'll make it go into full screen. However, you can see even if we go into desktop mode on this Chromium browser, it doesn't look amazing um, as far as the desktop experience goes. Everything looks a little bit too big and clunky to navigate. Okay, so what I'd recommend using is Samsung Internet that we downloaded earlier. So if we tap on that, we'll just open it in full screen because it looks and works much better. So here you can enable tabs, you can have desktop mode. So to do that, you just go into options, settings, then in appearance, you can set the web page text size. So I'd recommend setting it to the smallest. Then the next thing I'd recommend is to show desktop version of sites. So make sure that this one is enabled. You can customize the menu if you like. Um, so if there's any particular things that you use. So for example, I want to make sure I have desktop version enabled. So I'm going to keep that there if I need to switch that on or off. Okay, and then if I go back, there's another thing here, show tabs below address bar. This will be very good because it will give us a tabular experience when we're browsing the web like we would with a normal desktop. Okay, so now if we go back, you can see the, the appearance is quite nice. So we can open Google in one tab, for example, and then we could open the BBC in another. And as you can see here from a website like the BBC, the, the layout is far better than it would be if we used the mobile version. So this is a lot more usable and gives us a lot uh, a good experience. And it's very smooth as well because of uh, what we're using to connect to our device. So that's, that's this launcher. If you have any questions, do mention them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe.